Hey, Mo. Freckle. Freckle. Face. <laughs> Just gonna moisture real fast. Ahem. <clears throat> Ahem. <clears throat> Good evening, everyone. <laughs> um, so today, I did not decide to do my makeup today. Because after that video, I was like, oh my god. It was bad. So, I'm going to be... I, sh I blue dry my hair. Is that how you say it? You blue dry? I blow dried my hair. I blew out my hair. I dried my hair. Um, so I'm going to straighten it, but I'm going to be answering questions so you guys can get to know me on a personal level because I'm a very private person and I do not share anything personal really, um, about me. And I guess this is just a way to kind of get to know me a little better without Without being on the personal, like really, really personal, but you guys get to know me better and just like get to know who I am and, you know, so you guys can like, you know, have actual reason to like me or follow me. Anyways, let's get into it. Okay, I took down my hair. Now I'm going to start. First question is, who is your hero? My hero is actually my mom. She, um, if you guys don't know, I was born and raised in, well, not born, but I was raised in, um, a, I wouldn't say foster home, but it is a foster home. She, uh, took me under her wing, me and my twin sister, and she's taken a lot of children into her home, and she's a foster parent. She's been in the newspapers and everything and she just takes care of kids with that need a home um, she's taken in a lot of disability uh, kids with disabilities so that's why my family has um, some disability in it like my little sister and brother the twins um, one is completely blind and one is partially blind and partially deaf so that's my hero my mother um, second question, if you can live anywhere in the world, where would you live or where would you be? Um, honestly, if I can live anywhere in the world, it would be the Bahamas. I would say the Bahamas. I feel like the Bahamas would be a nice place to live. I haven't traveled too far. I mean, I've traveled a lot of places, but not like where I've traveled to say like, Ooh, I want to live here. I've traveled in the touristy parts of places. So I'm gonna say Bahamas for now. What is your biggest fear? My biggest fear um, is definitely clowns. Look at that smoke. Clowns are my biggest fear. Uh, spiders and the ocean. I will not put my foot inside of an ocean water. I will go to the beach, but I will not put my foot in the ocean. What is your favorite family vacation? My favorite family vacation spot? I mean, we've been everywhere. Well, not everywhere, but we've been to a few places. And probably my favorite place that we've been to, I really liked Alaska. And where else? We went to South, South America. We took a cruise down to South America to the Panama Canal. And that was so cool. I thought the Pan Panama Canal was like the coolest thing ever. God, my hair is smoking. This stuff is really... Oh. <laughs> what would you change about yourself if you could? Um, honestly, I don't think I would change a thing. I love myself just the way I am because this is the way I was born and this is the way I'm supposed to be some people you know change themselves because they feel like they don't believe that that's the way they were born um, meaning like some people like a boy would think they're a girl a girl think they're a boy I agree with that if you don't think who you are in your own body and you want to change it go for it um, but me myself 
I believe that my body is the way it was meant to be. And I love the way it is. So I'm not going to change a damn thing. So there's that. Next question is what really makes you angry? Um, what really makes me angry? There's not a lot of things that make me angry. Um, cause I've learned, I mean, I've learned to not get mad at stuff that really doesn't matter. Um, so I guess one thing that makes me really angry is not being serious in a serious situation. I guess another thing that really makes me angry right now is what's going on in the world. My thing just turned off. What motivates you to work hard? My family. My family motivates me. My... What the... My, the people who follow me motivate me. Sometimes it's hard for myself to motivate myself, but I think it's mainly my family who motivates me to work hard. And right now it's my daughter, obviously. Next question is, what is your favorite thing about your career? Uh, what career, ma'am? <laughs> because of COVID, I haven't done much with my acting career. I've been on a lot of auditions, but I haven't like booked anything yet. Um, and I don't know why, but things are really slow right now. So the favorite, my most favorite thing about my career is being able to um, portray a character that is out of my element and, um, you know, be somebody that I'm not. For most people, it's hard to do. For some people, it's very easy for them to be somebody, something that they're not. Take somebody's story and somebody's character into life. So that's kind of cool. What is your favorite book to read? I don't have a favorite book to read because I read like, I mean, I read books, but there's not one favorite where I was like, oh, let me read that again. Except for there's a book called The Secret and another one called, oh my God, what's it called? I'll think of it. If I remember, I'll put it up in the caption somewhere. Uh, but those are the two books that I've read and I'm like, yeah, this is a really good book and I really like it and I recommend it to more, most people. So those are probably like the two books that are probably, I'd say, are my favorite books to read. What makes you laugh the most? Um, my twin sister, I guess, her and like um, a few of my friends, like, wow. I put too much spray on. I'd like to say that I make myself laugh the most because I'm pretty funny. <laughs> but um, yeah, I would say my sister and like some of my friends make me laugh. What was the last movie you went to? What did you think? Uh, the last movie I went to, I don't remember ever, I don't remember the last time I went to a movie. That's how long it's been. I don't like going to the movie theaters. I hate going to the movie theaters. It, it always gives me a headache at the end of the movie. And I just, I, I can't do it. I can't do movie theaters. I can't remember the last one, but I can remember, I can remember the last movie I saw, which was the Wonder Woman and Soul. Cause those both came out, I think the same day. I think those came out the same day. So, um, Wonder Woman, I don't, this is smoking. I didn't like Wonder Woman. It wasn't, it wasn't very action packed. It was pretty slow and boring for me. And then Soul, I really liked Soul. Next question. What did you want to be when you were small? Well, when I was small, I've always wanted to be an actress. Um, I've always wanted to do acting. Like that's something that I've always wanted to do. But when I was like small, small, I didn't really have an, a, a thing that I was like, oh, I want to be that when I grow up. I don't think there was one thing that I said I wanted to be. And if I did, I don't remember. And I'm obviously not it because <laughs> then I would be it. If you could choose to do anything for a day, what would it be? If I can choose to do anything for a day, um, I would do like the most extravagant things, like things I would never do ever in life, like j bungee jump, I would never do. Oh, never. Rock climb, never, never. Um, jump out of a sky or jump out of an, a an airplane, which I don't know, bungee jump? No, that's not the same thing. I would jump out of a plane. What is your favorite game or sport to watch and play? 
I love to watch football. Football is like my number one sport to watch. My favorite sport to play, um, I would say I love snowboarding. Like snowboarding is something I have my two snowboards here, which I had to dissemble and give away parts because I'm not going to be snowboarding pregnant and I won't be snowboarding for a while with the baby. So I figured just get rid of the stuff. I don't need it right now. It's just a waste of space. What would you sing at karaoke night? Oh my God. I would probably sing some TLC or Destiny's Child. Definitely. Most definitely. What two radio stations do you listen to in the car the most? 92.3 and 104.7. Those are my two that I go back and forth with. Sometimes 1027 when those two are on um, commercial, but yeah, those are the radio stations that I listen to. <laughs> if you can hire someone to help you, would it be for cleaning, cooking, or yard work? I don't have a yard. My boyfriend cooks, so I'd say cleaning. <laughs> if you can only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Um, like if it was a whole meal, um, I would have... On my plate, I would have turkey bacon, oh, turkey bacon, um, some mangoes, a salad, watermelon, because it's delicious, maybe some chicken, some like barbecue chicken, no, lemon pepper chicken. Oh, don't get me started. <laughs> have you ever had a nickname and what is it? <laughs> Little do people know, um, Momo and Mo are nicknames. Um, my full name will not be revealed if you find out what my name is. Congratulations, you dug really deep to find that out. Who would you want to be stranded with on a deserted island? I don't even know. Um, I wouldn't bring anybody. Actually, I would bring somebody, but I don't know who I would bring. Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who I would bring. If money wasn't an object, what would you do all day? Well, I would obviously buy a whole bunch of shoes. I would buy a whole new outfits, closet, go buy myself a house, a brand new car, and I'd go take a vacation somewhere and travel for that day, for the rest of the day. So that's what I would do. I'd go for the first half part of the day, buy all my stuff, buy the house, and then fly somewhere for the rest of the day and spend money on food, because who doesn't love food, and more clothes and more shoes. That's what I would do. How would your friends describe you? Um, They'd say I'm very funny. Really weird, I would say weird, unique, Friendly, kind, and selfless. I'm very selfless. <laughs> what are your hobbies? Um, my hobbies are right now, I guess, would be makeup because I want to now. I want to like, I really want to get into like the eye makeup. Like, I really want to be really good at it. So, my hobby right now is probably makeup. And I said this before, remember, I was like, remember in a few videos ago that I said I was going to pick up a hobby? Well, Makeup is now my hobby. I'm going to choose makeup is now my hobby. I used to play like a lot of video games and, um, you know, I used to do puzzles, but now makeup is probably my thing right now. So that's my hobby. List two pet peeves. Oh my God, pet peeves. Chewing with your mouth open. That's annoying. And when you're watching a movie with somebody or you're eating dinner with somebody and they're just on their phone, I can't stand that. Like we're trying to watch a movie together and you're sitting on your phone or when you're having a conversation with somebody and they open up their phone, it just shows that you're not paying attention and you just don't care. That's, oh God, that annoys me. How many pairs of shoes do you own? I probably own about Probably a good like 20 or 25 pairs. How many pillows do you sleep with? Lord Jesus. So when I sleep, I have to have pillows all around me. So I have a pillow when I sleep, lay down. Um, now that I'm pregnant, I have to I have to sleep on a pillow. But before I I, I don't sleep with a pillow because I sleep on my stomach and I'll sleep like flat. 
I hate sleeping on pillows, but I have to have um, a pillow in front of me, in back of me, and the one that you're supposed to sleep with on your head is like right, it's sitting upwards, but I'm not on it. So I, if you count it like three pillows, yeah, three pillows, I would say. <laughs> have you ever had a secret admirer? Lord Jesus, have I? Yes. I have um I've had plenty and they are creepy I'll tell you right now some are creepy uh so I don't want to talk about that but yes the answer is yes <laughs> which kitchen appliances do you use every day um I would say the refrigerator the refrigerator is probably the one that I use most often and that is an appliance because I open and close that thing daily even though no food is new in there What's your favorite movie? Uh, Love and Basketball. Love and Basketball is one of my favorite movies. Uh, that and the Lego Batman movie. I know it sounds stupid, but that movie is so funny. The Lego Batman movie is so damn funny to me. I can't. I can't. And Ace Ventura, When Nature Calls. Not when. Not Pet Detective. I don't like that one. But When Nature Calls, that one's hilarious. What is the craziest thing you've done in the name of love? I've made a CD, you know, when CDs were around, I made a, a CD with all these like love songs on them. And I made him like some other stuff, but <laughs> that was crazy. I made like a CD of just like all the love songs and you know, all that stuff. And I'll never do that again. Cause whew, child. My battery's about to die, so I'm gonna come back when I'm gonna charge my battery and then um, I will finish up some more questions for you guys. All right, guys, I am done with my hair. It took, didn't take that very long, but it took a while for my battery to charge. Let's do a couple more questions and then we will end this video. Another question was, are you a clean or messy person? I'm a very clean person, but I'm also messy at the same time. I don't know if that makes sense. So. I can be extremely clean, but I also could be really messy, but it's not to be like messy because I'm a messy person. I could be messy because I just don't feel like cleaning at that time, so I could be really messy. Um, meaning like I'll throw my clothes on the floor in the closet and I just don't want to put them away at the time. Or there's dishes in the, the sink and I just don't feel like doing dishes right now, then and there, so I'll wait. Sometimes I'll wait like a couple days, but then like I'll clean it. like. I, it won't go past more than like two or three days either I'll do it or my boyfriend will do it how long does it take you to get ready in the morning um I don't do my makeup or my hair or look cute so it doesn't take me that long but if I was to get ready in the morning to go somewhere it doesn't take me that long because I only do my mascara and my eyeliner um, I'll brush my hair or I'll just wet my hair and recurl it and I'll throw on an outfit it probably takes me a good 15 minutes to get ready. I, I'm really quick. 15 or 20 minutes because I'm brushing my teeth. But that's that's like the most. Now if I was to do my eye makeup, because now I'm trying to get into eye makeup, it might take me a little bit longer, but I don't know. Do you love or hate roller coasters? I used to love roller coasters. Now I hate them. Like I hate roller coasters. I do not want to be on a roller coaster. I think the more, the older you get, the less you like roller coasters I, at least for me i don't want to go to magic mountain or any place with roller coasters like i would i'll go but i don't want to i really don't want to ride a roller coaster what is your favorite childhood memory um i think just growing up with my brothers and sisters i grew up with a lot of family members so um those were my my favorite where my mom and dad would go out to dinner they'd have dinner nights and then all the children will be home and we get to like have like a fun night um because they wanted to be alone <laughs> obviously playing outside going swimming in summertime um yeah that's probably my favorite childhood memory is your glass half full or half empty i want to say it's half full because i like to see things that are halfway done and not halfway over with it's i think we're i still got so much to do 
that I'm just only halfway there. So that's what I think. Halfway, I'd say the glass is halfway full. What was your favorite subject in school? Um, my favorite subject, I think math only because the teacher was cool. He was like a really cool guy. He was old. Oh, and yearbook class. I was in a yearbook class where I got to like, you know, do stuff for yearbook. And then also, oh, another one, huh? Uh, drama class where we got to do um, theatrical stuff. Like we got to do in plays, we got to learn about like theater and stuff like that it was really cool. Do you collect anything? I actually do collect something. I collect a lot of things with stars. I'm, a, I'm obsessed with stars. Star, the shape of a star is like my favorite thing in the world. So it's kind of sad. Um, what three things do you think of the most each day? Um, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Who was your first crush? Uh, I never had a person, like a, like a, someone who I've known to be a crush. I've always crushed on a celebrity and my celebrity crush was always Bow Wow. He was all over my walls. He secretly was my baby daddy. Um, he didn't know it, but we were married and you know we were gonna have beautiful children together <laughs> until i found out he had a child and my dream was broken <laughs> what was your first job um my first job ever i think i was working at six flags hurricane harbor as like I did the lockers and the tubes and I like rented them out to people. I think that was my ever first ever job besides like doing um, like real job, like money wise job. That was my first ever job. And then it was lifeguarding there. How many languages do you speak? Um, I speak one and actually I speak two. The other one you just don't understand because it's a special talent of mine. So. <laughs> If you had to describe yourself as an animal, which one would it be? Obviously, I'd be a leopard or a cheetah. I'd be a cheetah because of my freckles. Duh. What is one thing you will never do again? Um, I don't have many regrets. Yeah, I don't have many regrets. So I don't, can't say there's one thing that I would never do again. I mean, maybe like try a food that I didn't like. I would never try it again, I would say. Or s s do something for somebody that didn't deserve it, I would never do that again. I'll tell you right now. And the last question is, who knows you the best? Uh, my mom knows me the best and my twin sister knows me the best, obviously. Those two people know me the best best. Um, I mean, there's other people who know me really well, but when it comes to knowing me like truly, it'd probably be my twin sister and my mom. And my boyfriend, because I've been, I've known him for seven years, so he probably knows me pretty good. He probably knows me pretty good. So. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for coming, and please subscribe if you like it. Um, next video, I'll probably be doing an eye makeup, and or I really want you guys to meet my boyfriend, because a lot of people are like, oh, who's your boyfriend? Who's your boyfriend? Who's the baby daddy? No, no, no. Listen, you'll know. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and or hit the like and maybe leave a comment subscribe if you want see you guys next time bye